A youth-based organization, House of Arts Association, recently hosted a workshop in the capital, bringing together different stakeholders in the arts sector. The main aim of the workshop was to introduce a new concept dubbed the key to the city through their mission of reshaping communities through art. The program will be running in two cities, Harare and Bulawayo. We caught up with some guys from House of Arts to hear more on the concept of key to the city as well as the workshop. What was the background for the workshop? The background of this workshop is that we wanted to to put to bring together uh, different stakeholders and grassroots organizations so that we can come up with a way forward on how we can uh, push our project is also fast called key to the city so basically we wanted to have you know different mindsets different perspectives so that we can come up with one unified um, one unified way of how we can tackle the, the, the agenda and push it the way forward it's not only that we wanted to to gain but also it's vice versa in the sense that if we look at organization around Zim organizations different organizations around Zimbabwe you find that we have some sort of one goal, which is youths or uh, something that we want to achieve that can create a, a, a place that we can be free as youth. So because we have three objectives in the, um, in the project, that's um, creating a safe space whereby the government officials are also involved and then we can talk about how us as youths know what we can gain from them and also how we can create a safe space so that they can participate and feel safe and also making, uh, telling that the youth that to be active, you know, participate in whatever that goes on in the country, whether it's constitution wise, whether it's um, creation of an art space that is good for themselves and how they can move forward but being active is an active youth in Zimbabwe. What did the workshop seek to achieve? With the objective of the workshop, we seek to achieve that we have different, like I had mentioned earlier, we have different organizations and stakeholders that we brought on board. So what we wanted to achieve is to have diff those people to be on board so that we can become one unified consortium of different organizations so that we come together and then try to 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 move forward an agenda that we are pushing forward that is also um, uh, pushing the agenda of key to the city the project as a whole what is the basic component of the k2c project key to the city now it means good us as young people we are key to the development of where we are we are the key people who are not going to be able to build the society. Since it's not, it's just my young people. This is not constitute the the highest population. This is to more active. So why don't we uh, channel our 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 energy towards the nature? We are going to build our society around the end. We are going to build our issues as as one as my as my young people. So. We, we came up with, that's why we came up with this key to the city. project by House of Us that is trying to promote safety within marginalized communities of Arari and Blawayo. Uh, by, by so doing, we will be empowering young people with entrepreneurial skills to address the safety issues within their community. So what we want, we want to be something that is sustainable. If people, they get to establish a project that is promoting safety, but for something to be sustainable, they should have some source of income that is coming out of it so that it becomes something that is continuous even way after the project is, is gone. At the same time, we also want to promote uh, the mindset of the artist to be more entrepreneurship than just taking art as a hobby. As a hobby. So we'll be having some, some, some packages that we'll be sponsoring artists with to make sure that they make art a, a source of living, not just a hobby but they don't have anything to do. Who can benefit from the project? Also, this project can benefit any young person between the ages of 15 to 35, but who are residing in the communities of Yetcliffe, Wopley, uh, and Mbari. But for artists, any artist just in general who is in Harari can be part of this project.
we managed to talk to some workshop participants on what they had learned from the workshop and how K2C projects will help youths from their communities. So I've learned uh, a lot of things from this workshop. Um, I mean, coming all the way from Blawayo, I didn't come for nothing. So I, I had to, 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 to pick up a few things that I'm going to take back to, to my community in Geta, uh, where we will be implementing the K2C project. So uh, from this project, uh, I think from the strategic level specifically, we are trying to bring together uh, young people and stakeholders so that we find a way to work together and uh, uh, have uh, a lot of impact to young people uh, and as well as to create opportunities for young people. Whenever stakeholders are, are, are doing policies or policymakers, I mean, are, are making policies, we as young people have to participate. So that's what we're trying to point out, that we need to work together so that we, we become uh, an innovative and, create, and, and progressive uh, uh, community from this project key to the city has helped me a lot because we didn't give youth opportunity to participate in anything so for now since we are moving away from the safe and inclusive cities project we've managed to encourage the youth to participate in everything that is taking part in the country at this workshop I've benefited a lot because if you see that today we were meeting for the key to the city concept and uh, to my understanding, I believe the key to the city concept, it was only entailing about uh, a coalition of young people uh, that is meant to actually stimulate uh, the ability of young people to actually work in their different communities. So I must say that um, today we met with different organizations that really helped us to understand the role of our young people in the community. And we really realized that um, for quite a long time, the, uh, the young people were not really you know, involved in the processes of uh, how things they should be done in the community. I think the people from Bari are going to benefit a lot because we have many, people, we have many youths that take part in arts, so it's going to be an advantage for them to get exposure and to be noticed by the country. So from the key to the city concept, you would realize with me that um, it is really helping the youth to actually benefit a lot. Because from my own organization, you would realize that there are a lot of people that are talented in arts, but they are not actually given the opportunity to actually showcase their talents. So having such a project like this one, you would agree with me that the youths, they are going to get a platform of showcasing their talents. Whether you can sing, whether you can do anything that is confined to arts, you would realize that uh, youth, they will get an opportunity to be seen their talents and network with different people that can really support them. Because be here with me, ladies and gentlemen, it is something that is really helping us as youth. Because we have uh, a lot of colleagues from my, uh, from my community that can sing, but they are not being given an opportunity uh, to actually showcase their talent. So having the key to city concept is really helping us as youth to make sure that we can showcase that our talents without fear and really actually linking with the people that can really support us. In Blawayo, well I may say Blawayo is a, is, a, is a city of kings and queens and as everyone knows, we, we, we own art, we, we do art as it is, we, we have like raw talent. So my community is, uh, is, is not that, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I, don't, I won't say it's a slum area, but then it's not that good for young people, it's not that safe. It doesn't provide all the resources that uh, maybe young artists as us are expecting. So, from the K2C project, we're trying to, to provide those spaces, we're trying to provide uh, opportunities for young artists so that they, they uh, establish themselves and they, they get to network with other stakeholders, maybe from other cities, because K2C is in, is in Harare, in Blawayo, and we have members as well from outside Blawayo and Harare, who are maybe in Kweru, uh, Karoma Mutare. So we are trying to bring in together all those uh, uh, stakeholders and all those young people so that we come up with new ideas of supporting each other and like impacting our communities positively. So we, we as, a, as, a, we as Yellow World, well, I, I represent Yellow World, so we as Yellow, as Yellow World, I think we, we are going to, to, to provide a lot to Nketa and the key to, to the city project. Uh, we're going to provide uh, network spaces, we're going to provide uh, 
uh, a platforms where young people are going to be performing, showcasing their talent, where they are going to be actually producing the talent. The In order for the K2C projects to come to fruition, who are some of the key stakeholders in the matrix? Key two stakeholders is the artists and the young people. But moreover, uh, so many government, government line ministries, like Minister of Youth, and also maybe Minister of Human Affairs, Small and Medium Prices de uh, Development, uh, these are some of the stakeholders that we wish to work with so that we can partner and make sure that we impart the knowledge that we want to the artists and also the young people, at least so that whatever we do, it becomes gainful at the end of the day to the two our communities. At the end of the day, were the organizers of the workshop satisfied? It is, um, it is, it is so heartwarming to actually see the turn up because not only do we have um, uh, the police here, but we have media institutions as well, CFM, ZTN, we have um, other organizations from National AIDS Council to, to National Arts Council of Zimbabwe here. So these are people that we work with that we are registered under and they are also part of our initiative and they are also here buying into what we, we are trying to push so that our agenda can go forth to strengthen and create a safe space and make the youth participate and be active in whatever that's happening. And that's also good for them and is a benefit to them. So we are pretty much satisfied with the outcome and the people on board and it's very good. We are happy. Everyone, we start from somewhere. Like four years ago, I was just an ordinary young person trying to make ends meet but now we have an established organization also fast in youth alliance that you are running so we start from where you are you get to create a vision and then you follow you follow the vision and make sure that and we know one day you will be somewhere but start from where you are don't look at where you want to go but start from where you are establish where you want to go little step they say a thousand months begins with one step so it's the step that you take from where you are and then you'll be somewhere. We started with no funding. We're just young people in each cliff, but right now we are somewhere promoting also other young people who are within our community. So you can start from where you are, doing what you are doing, but doing it in a legal way and also promoting development within your community.